fucking Kuwait, man. Do you believe this shit? These people still haven't picked up the trash from the last war. People have been fighting over this bitch since ancient times, dog. How many graves are we standing up? Think about all the wisdom and science and money and civilization it took to build these machines. And the courage of all the men who came here. And the love of their wives and children was in their hearts. And all that hate, dog. All the hate took to blow these motherfuckers away. It's destiny, dog. White man's got to rule the world. percent of Americans are obese. You know what obese means, right? Bad as a motherfucker. All these other countries, nobody's fat. Think about that shit, dog. How does a motherfucker get fat? You gotta sit on a couch, do nothing but eat, and watch TV all day. White trash, poor Mexicans and blacks, all obese as motherfuckers. See, the white man has created a system with so much excess that even poor motherfuckers are fat. A few years ago, dog, I refused a diploma from my community college. Why? Yeah, I didn't want no piece of paper from the white master saying I was qualified for his work. Huh. Then I joined the Corps. Figured you can't beat him, join him. See, that's what this is all about, dog. The U.S. should just go into all these fucked up countries. Iraq, Africa, set up American government and infrastructure. McDonald's, Starbucks, MTV. And then just hand it all over. I mean, how else are we going to make these hungry motherfuckers want to stop killing everybody? Put a McDonald's on every fucking corner. <laughs> if we got to blow up the corner, then build a McDonald's, so be it. Enough lecture on the white man's oppression. I need my assistant team leader for a meeting with LT. I was just elucidating on the white man's burden, dog. <laughs> now, Pope. No, I'm rolling with you. Come on. Thanks, man. Get one last cigarette before we all die. Yeah, thanks. Dog, who's like 13 or 14, mm -hmm. peddling around in this neighborhood I grew up in, just east of LA? We saw some cholos from another hood. And we thought we was all hard, gangbanging wannabes, so we started saying, fuck off, yo, fuck off, throwing flashing signs to them and stuff. So they started throwing down on us, wow, 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 kicking our little asses. And some of the older dogs from our hood come out. Grab those fools. Took one behind Tasty Freeze. And stabbed him up. Screwdriver. Killed that child. See, generally, white people, they don't drag a dude behind a Tasty Freeze and stab to death with a screwdriver. So after that day, I decided I'm gonna hang with white people. Oh, here you are. I like Pocahontas. Wonderful music. Nah, 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 Brad. <laughs> you cannot say that you like Pocahontas. Yeah, Christopher's coming to relieve The me. genocide of my people's turned into a cartoon musical with a singing raccoon? <laughs> I mean, think about it, dog. The real story of Pocahontas is about a bunch of white boys who come to my land, bribe the corrupt Indian chief, kill off all the warriors, and fuck the Indian princess silly. Would the white man make a story about Auschwitz? Where the inmate falls in love with the guard? They go off singing love songs with dancing swastikas? My great-grandfather killed Indians up in Michigan for money. Tromley, you are the first white motherfucker to say something like that to me. Yeah? Back in the fishing village where I'm from, Los Angeles. Most white motherfuckers that talk about their people, they say they got a Native American ancestor to pretend to be down with me, but here you are, coming the other way. Folk, what the fuck are you anyway? Your wife is half white, you talk like you're black, most of your friends are fucking white, and every once in a while, 
Oh, you feel like yeah, it, man. you throw in with the Indian. Yeah, Pope, what the fuck? Is it just your whatever race happens to be cool at the moment? Make sure you have your black and help us You got a point, dog. I don't hang out with Mexicans. I'm Mexican. Mexicans got $20,000 stereos, lots of guns. And every time I go into a liquor store with one, I'm afraid we're gonna rob the place. Mexicans are scary motherfuckers. I don't know why. 